If you look at modern wind turbines, you'll notice that most of them have three blades. I mean, some of them have two, but usually it's three. Uh, and today we're going to take a look at why that is. Now, before I talk about the number of blades on a wind turbine, I'd like to talk about something called a tip speed ratio. So the tip speed ratio of a wind turbine is the rotational speed of the turbine compared to the speed of the wind going through it. So if the tip speed ratio is, let's say, five, uh, that means the tip of each blade of that turbine is moving five times as fast as the wind going through it. So essentially, it's, uh, it's the relative speed of the wind turbine. And this number is incredibly important to the efficiency of the wind turbine because if your wind turbine is uh, spinning too slowly, then too much of the wind can pass right through the blades, uh, pretty much unaffected, which means that too much kinetic energy that you could have captured is, you know, passing straight through and, and you're not actually getting it. So your turbine is not getting as much energy as it could. But also, if your turbine is spinning too fast, it actually starts to block the wind too much. So it starts to become an obstacle to itself. And then again, you also don't get as much energy from it as you could. So it's very important to get the speed of that turbine just right uh, to get the highest efficiency you can. So if you plot out the, uh, the speed or the relative speed of a wind turbine or the tip speed ratio uh, against the efficiency, you'll find a curve that looks kind of like this. Now, the interesting thing is that the more blades you put on a wind turbine, the more it's going to block the wind at any given speed. So what this means is that this, uh, this curve is going to shift towards the left as you put more blades on a wind turbine. So essentially, a wind turbine with more blades becomes more efficient at lower speeds, whereas a wind turbine with fewer blades becomes more efficient at higher speeds. So an excellent example of this is these old school windmills that would be used for pumping water. So they were used to drive a very slow moving water pump. And you can see that in the design of the windmill because it's a thing with lots of blades, which makes it efficient at very slow speeds, which is perfect for driving this, uh, this very slow water pump. But now, of course, we use wind turbines to generate electricity. Uh, and it turns out that generating electricity is easier to do and also more efficient at higher speeds. So all of a sudden, it becomes favorable to have a wind turbine that becomes more efficient when it runs at a higher speed. In other words, it's better to have a wind turbine with fewer blades on it. Another reason why it's good to have fewer blades is because it makes the overall construction lighter and cheaper and requires way less material. So that explains why modern wind turbines have relatively few blades on them, uh, but it doesn't explain why they have three. I mean, if less blades is better, why don't we use two or one bladed turbines? So first of all, a one bladed turbine uh, is kind of a, an impractical a machine that doesn't make a lot of sense because it's unbalanced so you need to put some kind of counterweight on the other side and then you know instead of that counterweight you might as well just put another blade on make it a two-bladed design uh, so it's just kind of a weird and impractical uh, device some prototypes have been built but it never really caught on then there is the two-bladed wind turbine now Two-bladed wind turbines are actually used, uh, particularly at smaller scales, but they're not as popular as three-bladed turbines, and for a good reason. Imagine that this thin metal rod is a, a two-bladed wind turbine, so it's got, you know, a central shaft and then you know, two blades sticking out of it. Now, some people believe that this design isn't smooth or something, that it's choppy, uh, but it really isn't, right? Because this is perfectly balanced. The blades have the same size, the same mass. And when this is turning, there is absolutely no problem at all with that. That's perfectly fine. The problem comes when they start to turn horizontally, when they start yawing. Because, of course, wind turbines need to yaw. They need to turn horizontally to point themselves uh, towards where the wind is coming from. And that's where this thing 
runs into a problem because if I have this rod like this and I try to turn it horizontally that's super easy to do because this has very little uh, rotational inertia in this direction however when I position the rod like this and I try to turn it horizontally that is much harder to do because now we've got all this length we've got much more rotational inertia right you can imagine you can't quite see it on camera but you can imagine if you were doing this that this is more difficult to do than that so the issue is that when your wind turbine is rotating like that but you're also going to turn it horizontally at the same time that you know when it starts like this and you begin to turn it horizontally that goes super easy but as you are turning it it also keeps turning like this and so when it ends up like that and you keep turning all of a sudden it, it's much harder to turn and so you know, your electric motor might increase the torque that it applies to turn it but then as you're doing that it already goes like that again so it becomes super easy so you get this highly fluctuating force as you are turning that wind turbine and that fluctuation is obviously going to be really bad for uh, the mechanical system that does the yawing but also for the entire structure of the wind turbine including just the tower that it stands on and this problem becomes uh, becomes bigger as the size of your wind turbine grows now there are some ways to to kind of mitigate this problem but they make the design more complicated a three-bladed turbine doesn't have this problem so when it's being turned horizontally it behaves pretty much like a, like a solid disc or a wheel being turned horizontally the, the position of the rotor has no effect so this is why three-bladed wind turbines are so popular right we want as little blades as possible for the reasons we mentioned earlier on uh, but at the same time two-bladed wind turbines start to have this issue with the with the yawing so therefore a three-bladed turbine is usually the best option now that's not always the case because you know two-bladed turbines are a thing they are being used they have their place but particularly at larger scales uh, the three-bladed turbine is the most popular option and for good reason so I hope this video cleared some things up about wind turbines uh, perhaps consider building your own wind turbine in the backyard if you're into that sort of thing um, I hope you've enjoyed this video and of course thank you for watching